they rendezvous with the world's largest crane ship, the Fielf, a super crane that does heavy lifts at sea. The two cranes mounted on board can lift over 14,000 metric tons. That's about 80 747 jumbo jets. The barge and the Elf wait for a weather window before lift operations begin. The contract to install the subsea components is worth $21 million. With so much at stake, they practice back on shore. The crane and ROV operators rehearse the drop. This is a 3D virtual underwater world like the one they'll be working in. With weather, depth and weight going against them, they practice. Now it's time for the real thing. Lines are connected. The record-breaking sea drop begins. This is their only chance. If they miss and it settles on the seabed in the wrong place, they'll have to build another one and set the project back by a year. Computer-controlled thrusters hold the crane ship over the drop site. As it goes below the surface, the underwater ROVs are put into action to take over as the eyes on the operation. They feed video back to the control room. The engineers scan the rig for problems as the pressure increases. From 1,000 meters below, the ROV feeds video back to the crane operator, who adjusts the orientation. They have to keep the ball bearing as close as possible to the center of the bullseye. He keeps the drop going, even when it's meters away from the sea floor. He's committed. There's no stopping it now. It's down, and it's so heavy, the legs on the base sink eight meters into the seabed. But they won't know if they landed on the right spot until they check the coordinates. The reading shows it's within 40 centimeters of their target, close enough to be considered a perfect drop, accomplished from 1,000 meters above on a rolling sea. Now that the template has been successfully placed, the next step is to tap the gas field. 